game on a super gun, which you can't stream, I don't think. Okay, this is an interesting match. This is going to be a great match. You know, again, Ryan Hart, we all know how good he is. We're going to see nothing but the best from him. And again, Real Menace, really solid tournament player. I mean, we, 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 int we do introduce this match like two sets ago, and now it's finally going to happen. So this is going to be a great match for one. Do you have any idea how this match happens in casuals? No. Um, I don't think I've seen these guys play against each other in any of the streams. And if there is casual footage... Well, Ryan's off to a really good start with a hop kick. And Lars with Rage. Yeah. If this was T6 Lars, we would have been worried. But I think no, Lars in this game isn't a threat until he's in Rage. He yeah. doesn't have a low that's going to bob you until he's Rage. I mean, forward, 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 three. I mean, that's a hell of a low. But in this game with two energy bars, it's only scary when he's in Rage. And it's minus on hit. Yeah. And you can sidewalk it to the right. I mean, Tekken 6, that was serious. You know, you didn't. there's no way to make a comeback around it. And the movement was bad. But you know, Ryan's got the right characters to deal with Eddie as well. I mean, he can just like, like while standing four. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Yeah. He's been playing this game for like a hundred years. Like, Ezzy played a really good uh, Eddie back in the day. If you're still playing him, so he's, he's got this matchup down. Fat damage at the wall. Oh my! He almost died. Oh man. Now, the key the key to this match is going to be how well does Menace know the Leo matchup. That's the, that's the big question, isn't it? Um, we have one Leo player in this country and a secret Leo player. So who knows? Who knows? Well, so far, Menace is doing quite all right for himself. Eddie, like, tech crouches everything. I mean, you can't spam electrics against that character if you're playing Kaz. So Ryan's already, yep, he's just... Oh, wow, that was a nice up forward four. Ryan's all about the wave dash into just down four in some kind of mid. There we go. Oh, we down forward two. Sends him to the wall, fat damage into Oki. Gets stomped for his troubles. He's still hitting Eddie on his way out. Oh, no, 4 3 that. Ooh, nice space. Oh, unlucky. You know, everything that Lars has now is either very unsafe or has bad recovery. Thanks, man. Oh, and I have a drink. So, if Lars does anything and it's blocked, Ryan takes the lead. He gets the momentum. Yeah. So far, this round looks really close. They both pretty much got the same health. Oh, uh, unlucky! Can, can Lars do it? Can Lars do it? Come on, Lars! Lars! Wait, why am I cheering for Lars? Oh, you want? No one cheers for Lars. <laughs> I just realised what I was doing. What is wrong with Shit! You? I'm sorry, stream monsters. I do apologise for cheering for a Lars player. I promise I'll try not to do it again. I will cheer on for Eddie though. Eddie's hype. I like Eddie. He's a very interesting character. I like goats. A goats are very good. Alright, back to the match. Wow, oh, lucky. You missed the combo. But look at. Where, where, where did Kaz's health go? He got Sent hit. To the wall. He got hit in second tag too. Into That's the where his oh, 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 that, that was a nice right setup though. That's just years of experience coming out. And that's just that team having a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> oh man, he's getting into the war with this one. Yep. He wants oh, that. No. He, he's, he, he wants to heal with that team, so he's not. He's not going to bring in Leo for a while. Oh, over. he got hit by the DF2. He had that match, you know. He had that match, but he did stupid stuff at the end. Again, I think. I think it's the, this is the case of all fighting games. The most patient player wins, and being good at being patient. That's yeah, fantastic. yeah. Because you, you know, you, anyone can hold back on the stick and run to the back of the screen. But can you break throws? Can you react at the right time? Can you step at the right time? I can't, which is why I'm sitting here right now with a milkshake. Uh, if you're wondering who the commentators are, the other voice is Iron Lobster, or Ash, as some of you might know him. And my voice would happen to be Veggie. So, there you go. Back to the match. And well, I missed. Well, I turned around for two seconds, and Kazuya is off with half his health gone. That yeah, health is coming back. Again, this is a situation. This is like another set. Like, Ryan is looking really strong today. You know, there's always that thing where you don't really see many of his matches. Over thinks he's probably not playing. He's dedicating his time to Street Fighter, but clearly he's 
he's balancing both games enough to be strong at both. I mean, this this is some solid. Uh, you know, he hasn't looked shaky at all today. Some this is you know, this is some really impressive Tekken. This is some good Tekken right here. This was a plate of chips. It has some haddock on the side. That's his Tekken right there. I do think a run back between Ryan and Shim would be really interesting, though. I would like to see that. I don't know, Shim has been out of the loop for a while. He hasn't been playing strong plays in a long time. So his ability to, like, you know, meditate. And we've all seen Shim and meditate between rounds, between matches. I, I thought he just fell asleep. It could have been the case. It could have been, it could have been like that episode of Hajime no Ippo, when the, the guy, which one, of it, which one wins unconscious? That's like half the people. Fuck, I can't remember. <laughs> It was Rocky, the character Rocky, he like wins when he's oh, unconscious, yeah. 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 He's fighting with like, you know, purely on instinct. But yeah, I think if there was a run back between these two, it could it could go the other way. Like Shim would be spent right now Shim is probably thinking about what went wrong, what what's going on in his head, and he's just being patient. You, you can see that come out, but he just oh, couldn't really big back damage. To the wall. Yeah, just a wall following. Missing okay. Yeah, back still to the wall. Oh, wow, well, nice. Why not? And that hop kick tracks <laughs> like no one's business. Now she's got all that health to get back. Bad if she gets back in. Uh, if he gets an electric off now, it's going to do so much damage. Okay, the rage has gone now. He knows that matchup so well. He does. He really, I mean, played Arsenal below, so. Yeah. Who do we have for Eddie experience? Dean. Shout out, out to Dean. Big ups to Dean. Uh, Dean's alright, but I haven't seen that guy in years. I miss that guy. That guy's cool. I just wish his Eddie was like this. <laughs> One day, hopefully. One day. Oh, that time when he 5 0 Christian. That was hilarious. That was awesome. That was really funny. Christian, that wasn't when Christian went home crying, was it? No, that was when Acer. That was one of the times Christian went home crying. Yeah, at least I beat Acer today. <laughs> That's not saying anything. Sorry, Aceless. He's behind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, it's sorry, straight monsters. We kind of got sidetracked there. Uh, back to the match. Uh, both one round apiece. Ryan is one match up. But Ki Real Menace is looking pretty strong in this one. Oh, wow. That should be dead. Well, here's the thing on this game. If your team does that much damage, all you need is a launcher. So if you focus on just getting that launcher off, that's one way of playing it. Or well, the other way is just getting one fundamentals, hitting people out of the launcher, yeah. baiting those whiffs. And so we're almost seeing two different play styles here. Okay. He, he always good. seems to have Ryan against the wall. Yeah, you, think, you know, look at Lars and Eddie. As a team, that have great wall carry. Yeah. They get great pushback. Oh, lucky. You should have known that was going to hit the wall. It's also safe to assume that Real Menace has dropped Ling now. Yeah. He did, he signed out as a Ling player. Probably Bob as well. His other team is Bob and Devil Jim. And I'm surprised we're not seeing that team today. He's probably saving it. He could be. Oh wow, that was really nice. Look from, he's, from, he's from a, a though. From a he's, play, he's, he's playing, he played that match so well. Yeah, that was a really strong play from Menace. It was channeling Arsene at that point. <laughs> he was going to do nothing but the fastest mid in his arsenal and down free side four, and that is one hell of a load. Shout out to Asim if you're on stream. Um, I've got a feeling you're watching this stream. Yeah. Judging by your Facebook post. And also, why aren't you here? You should have been here. But, oh well, maybe next time. Uh, okay, we have the third match here. It is one all. Real Menace just had a really strong match against Ryan. Seems to be another strong match. But well, that's the other thing, I mean, maybe with um, Menace's other team, Bob and uh, Ling, Devil Jin. Oh, Devil Jin, yeah. I mean, you gotta get, you're gonna work, you're gonna have to work hard getting a launcher off. Yeah. So, with this team, he, he can focus more on mix-ups, chipping away at the bar, getting the other guy to panic, freak out, and then getting the launcher off. And another gonna, strong round! Another strong round! Like, this is the inverse of what we normally see from Ryan, where Ryan has a, he kind of has a bad match or a bad early round to download the guy, then he steamrolls. We, yeah. We're seeing this the other way around. Menace is, as he is always, on point. But the stuff we're seeing here from Eddie and Lars, maybe Arsene's been like teaching yeah. him on the side. A student of Arsene. The strongest Tekken player in this country is not actually from this country. 
and it's not the first time either. I'm sure a lot of you remember Tishuman from back in the day. That's before my time. Yeah. I was in the help. That was Dark Resurrection. And Marduk was a horrible character. Yeah, it was that so was sick. <laughs> I miss Dr. I don't miss Marduk in that game. I do. Because if Marduk was at negative frames, he could cage beasts out of frame yeah. traps, couldn't he? Yeah. Shit. Man. Nearly got that. Oh, he got it. <laughs> Look at his health from two lows. And people, some people on the battle actually say Kazuya health isn't that good. Can you believe that? People are really bad theory fighters. And something that people don't, a lot of people don't understand on this game. But I think the best version of Tag 2 was Vanilla Tag 2 after the patch. The one, you know, when we played. That oh, the before the actual, yeah, yeah, I know the one. After the beta came out, it got patched again. Yeah. And that was the best version, so that had the damage scaling from Tekken 6. Yeah. Because this game, the first hit of an attack is 135%. Mm. So being punished hurts, which is a good thing in my book, I like that. And obviously, stuff like Hell Sweeps become even stronger. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, Namco did it to squeeze more money out of people who play in the arcade, so it wasn't a balancing issue why they did it. It was a capitalist issue. Oh, wow. Ryan's bringing this back. Yeah. Miss Punisher on Real Menace, but that's a hard move to punish because it looks like he's down for the two. Ryan's completely switched up his playstyle. He's like really aggressive now. I think kind of looks like me playing. There's no size of death yet, There's though. There's no size of death yeah. It's because I don't think he wants to put it at Eddie's relaxed mix ups. Yeah. I mean, the only way at that point is just to go in. Two all. Leo, Leo has the tools to go up against it. Let's see if Menace can learn to deal with this new rushdown style that Ryan's using. That's it, I do think that if Eddie's down 4 2 was punishable consistently, because it's minus 10 with a crazy pushback, yeah. all the Eddie players would drop him. Yeah, probably. It's like if Lee became slightly risky, <laughs> all the Lee players would drop him. <laughs> it's like in Vanilla Tag 2, Julia had some ridiculous plus frame trap set up. Oh, yeah. And a lot of Tear Horse picked her up. And they fixed it. I know the junior players kept playing it. Oh, oh he hit the wall! Kazuya in rage. Oh. It's in interesting. I think he may have messed up his health sweep. Oh man, is this death? No. I mean, that is a signature Ryan Hart move. Uh, with punching with a health sweep. Oh, if he did a 4 3, he'd have launched! Yep. He went for all 4 4 instead for a reason. He's been hitting him way too many times. Yeah. Having said that, though, I don't think I've seen one, a single of 4-3 yet from Lars. That's the thing with Menace, he's, um, he's a smart player. And sometimes that will hurt someone. Yeah, yeah. Being too smart will hurt you sometimes. It's kind of like the opposite of how you play this game. It's like, I'm going to play as retardedly as possible <laughs> and see how far I get. Oh fuck, look how far I got. Oh wait, I lost to someone patient. Damn! But what, what we're seeing here is the dynamic opposite. But I'm not gonna risk these really hammy moves. No! But if he did. Yeah, but it's like in Street Fighter, sometimes you have to risk that wake up show you. All I've been doing is sidestep hot kick. Yeah. And mad axes. It's done me alright. Okay, we have moved on to the dubstep stage. Oh, I hate the music <laughs> on this stage. I love this stage. This is like 10 times bigger than the actual Trevi Fountain for those of you who haven't visited it yet. I do recommend it, Rome, great tourist attraction. But my god. Wub 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 Next time I go to Rome, I'm gonna go to Trey Van and some dickers will be blaring out dubstep. Kick their ghetto blaster into the fountain. Last time I went to that fountain, I definitely seen it's dubstep, but it wouldn't surprise me this. Probably a guy there in the corner. He probably plays Bob. It'll probably be some Italian Tekken player. I mean, that's where half of European Tekken players come from. They have Harry Potter there swearing his head off in Italian. Porco Dio! Shouts to Harry Potter. Well, you know what? Just shouts to the whole Italian community in general. Shouts to Tekken Italy and to um, your finest uh, export, the Phantom, who's living here now. Great guy. Yes. Does take Raiden a little bit too seriously for my liking, though. That's the best thing about the Phantom, though. Like, I like remember when he got when he locked his his teacher out of the, of the hotel. Oh yeah, I remember that. He's like, this is my master. He taught me everything on Tekken. Then a few hours later, we get a knock on our door, and it's the teacher going, "The Phantoms locked me out of my hotel room." I was like, 
Looks like the student has surpassed the master. <laughs> and the fan was in there just snoring. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was actually a really good time in Italy. Yeah. Uh, oh wow, he's so lucky that wall was there for the extra damage. Uh, Menace, I don't know how he did it, but he's suddenly two rounds up. We should probably pay more attention. Well, I'm paying attention, I'm not. Excited. I'm not, I'm just... The Phantom, I love that guy, he's too good. Gets it near the wall. Rage Kazuya, what's he gonna do? Sweet bang! He's gonna sweet bang you again! The Phantom's Facebook uh, photo is Tongue Through Roof and Fatal Fury. And that character is too good. Uh, that was a really nice combo. It was one of the best combos I've ever seen. No, it wasn't. I know, I know. Look at the damage. Oh my god! Ah! You should have tech crashed! You can't escape from that. You can escape. Face kicks. Ryan switching things up again. Uh, action. Rage Lars! Oh my god! Rage Lars! Oh my god! Rage Lars! Alright, he's, he's out of rage. He's not, he's not scary anymore. But we're gonna have Rage Eddie come in soon, unless he waste attack. Oh no. Oh my god! Mm, two all! We're going down to the last match. Both players looking pretty strong right now, I'd say. I told you. I know. I know. I know. I know. Can you imagine having a nervous breakdown of Cobra Command in the room? That would be. You'd just come right back, wouldn't you? It's like, what happened? Oh, my dog died and my, my, my mum fell off a mountain. I yeah. know. I know. And yeah. you'd be back. Yeah, but it, but it is all about that video of Cobra Commander playing that guy and go, ha <laughs> you are free. free. That was, uh, what's his name? Um, that, oh, Uma. And he's playing and in the first match he wins, he starts laughing. And he's like, stop laughing, man. Why are you laughing? Because I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Cobra if you're watching. The 50th shout out to Cobra Commander. And then he wins and he's like, <laughs> you are free. <laughs> and he just can't stop laughing at the guy. Yo, Menace is going ham! Menace is going in. Menace doesn't care right now. He's just going in. Oh man. Well, Rage curse. Menace, Menace has nothing to lose at this point. That's how oh, that was a bad tag in. Ryan waited for that. He waited for that Godfist. Menace's current playstyle has brought it back. So if he changes tack now. Oh, both characters. Why did you? Oh, why would you roll back? He messed up his tag crash. Yeah. He couldn't tag crash though, because Eddie was still in. Uh, he had the bar, but he back rolled. So I reckon he was holding back for too long. He back rolled instead of tag crash. That's it. There it is. 95 to 100. Look at the damage. Oh, uh, at least he has into the wall, I guess. Rage Eddie! Oh man. A lot of things seem to whiff Leo. Female body type, I guess. I think Leo counts as normal. Does she? I, I could be wrong, it's been a while. I mean, like, I used to, when, when Will played Leo, I'd, uh, you know, I'd, I'd know about it, but it's been a while, so I can't remember. Yeah. Oh, is this dead? If the wall's nearby, it's dead? Yeah, the wall's nearby. There it is. Ryan on match point. Menace is going to have to do something here, man. It's not over yet. Oh. Or maybe it is. They think it's all over. He's going to try to save his meter. He, he wants that rage. That could be his, that's his undoing. Well, he's checking down to one character now. Menace is panicked. He made a mistake that no one would make at this point. They think it's all over. It, it is, is now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ryan makes it into grand finals. A little bit of health left. He was going to do nothing but down forward four. Yeah. That's all that was going to happen. Right. Can we get Edie Summer versus Ryan Kazuya?